Hey, this is Matthew. And this is Andrea. Welcome back to another Nerd News Today toy review and unboxing. And we got a special one today. Well, they're all special, but this yeah, is it. extra special. Yeah, because this is the coolest figure we're going to probably ever review. It's enough to make you go, hey! Hey! All right. Oh, that was terrible. That really was. Yeah. Um, so if you guys had already seen on our channel, we spoke with Marty Abrams from Mego Toys. Yes. And a lot of you guys might remember Mego Toys as a company that was really big in the 70s and early 80s. And they've now just made an official comeback. Marty Abrams at the yeah. helm. Mm-hmm. Very excited about this. Yes, and we're going to be looking at a few Mego toys now. And uh, starting things off, we have, from Happy Days, the Fonz. Yeah. Or should I say Arthur Fonzarelli? That's right. The most Jewish Italian man in all of Happy Days land. So here's the front of the box. It's uh, pretty cool. So Mego toys are now, they're limited. That's part of their new run. I think there's mm -hmm. either eight or 10,000 per yes. figure. Mm -hmm. um, and these are available only at Target stores right now. Maybe yep. they'll be available elsewhere in future waves, but for now, Target's the place to get them. Yes, these are ver very much Target exclusives. And we'll show you guys the back yeah, yeah. as well. So, as we mentioned, they are exclusive, but unlike, let's say, Playmates toys from the 90s, these aren't, like, numbered, so you don't know no. what number you're getting out of that run. You just know that they are limited. That's okay. You know what? We don't need the number. Yeah. So these are blister packed, uh, and that's again a kind of a throwback to how these were made originally. I, I don't know if you know the trivia behind that. I was going to ask you about that. Uh, yeah, so Migos are really the people who gave us the blister pack. Yeah, so some, some quick trivia for you people out there. Originally, Mego figures and most toys were typically in boxes, car, you know, just rectangular boxes. Mm -hmm. uh, and at the time, a store that is now known as Kmart, uh, back then I believe it was Krogs, how it was pronounced. Like we didn't, I don't think we had them in New York maybe, no. but. Um, they basically requested toys that they could put on pegs yeah. for different end caps and aisles and sort of things. They wanted to be able to, you know, display the toys differently. And More so, variety. And so Amigo came up with this idea here. <laughs> so it's because of Amigo that we have essentially the modern day blister card. Which is great. I mean, you get all sorts of really fun stuff. And I mean, if you check out the back, you get to see Fonz, um, Joni, and um, Richie. It looks like those are who we're going to be getting in the, the total waves. And even get a little bit of trivia. So, in the early episodes of Happy Days, instead of his iconic leather jacket, what did, what was Fonzie wearing? Plaid shirt. That's cool, right? Okay, you can you can leave now. Oh. Ha! No, he was wearing a blue windbreaker. Huh. It says that right here. Oh. Blue. I'm glad you could read the box. I can. Plus, I actually have seen those episodes on repeat because I like Happy Days. Let's open the toy, shall we? Yes. All right, so would you like to do it since you're currently holding him and gripping him very, very tightly? He's mine. Okay, he's yours now. <laughs> okay, that was creepy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to do it. I think I admit, there is something extremely satisfying about opening up a blister pack. I mean, I don't like destroying it, but... Oh, hello. Something back here is... Oh! Yeah. You didn't notice an accessory in there? I did not notice this accessory in there. I don't know if you guys can even really notice. Yeah, it's really hard he to show you guys. With a, he comes with a comb. He comes with a little itty bitty comb. Now we'll come back to that though, because the yeah. important question is whether or not he can actually hold that comb in his hand. Yeah. Sounds yeah. like the thing with Mego figures back in the day was how they hold their accessories, if they can hold their accessories. Does it smell good? It's not even, I can't actually smell it. I just like the, it's satisfying to do the rip. Okay, so before I take him out. To the suck. As you can see, he comes in the plastic, but in tr true, you know, throwback fashion. No twisty ties. Yeah, twisty so. ties are a modern invention for toys. A I horrible know, modern invention. Oh, ooh, it's got some nice weight to it. Oh my god, this is so. He's like, hold on, hold on, hold on, can you do it? Can you do it? He can't actually do his fingers, but check it out. He's dancing. Hans does the two-step. <laughs> yeah, he does. Fonz does the uncool. That's how he dances. That was the Fonz dance. He's just like sway back and forth. He wouldn't actually do anything. I know. Yeah. Okay. So this is actually really cool. Um, the likeness is it, it's interpretive, uh, but you know it is a new sculpt also because yeah. they're not recycling the sculpts they used in the '70s. These are completely new, fresh sculpts. Uh, I think even like some how the, how the paint application is is also different. I think when I noticed it, actually, I think the biggest thing I noticed. Was that this Fonz kind of look, looks like he has eyeshadow on? Yeah, he looks like he's got guy liner. Yeah, they really heavily uh, outlined his eyes in this. Yeah, I I feel like they got the bottom part of his face really really cr 
accurate to Henry Winkler, but I feel like the eyes are sort of off. I think it's like, because he has kind of like sunken eyes, and that's, yeah. that's typically a problem with sculpting. When oh, you have absolutely. Some of those, and even drawing a person with sunken eyelids and that type of thing, yeah. uh, it's hard to really capture it without lighting it naturally, the way you see yeah. a person lit up. Yeah, so instead he looks like an interpretive um, font as opposed to, you know, a realistic, more accurate thing of him. But that's okay. It's still pretty cool, because even, even back then, you know, it kind of fits in with the Mego vibe. Yeah, yeah. So that, that's all it really matters. But I love the jacket. It's, you know, it's fake pleather. You can see the, I mean, you know, it's pleather. So you can see it. He's got fabric for his jeans. You know, the, oh, 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 and he stands. Yeah. Okay, he, cool. That's nice and easy. Yeah. So let's see now, since we talked about it, let's see if we can get that comb in his hand. And it looks like, yes, it does fit nice. relatively well. Nice, nice. So you can be like, eh. So articulation, we're not going to strip the fonds to show you what kind of joints he has. But uh, let's see. So I believe the feet, they do have some arti limited articulation. It's a little mm -hmm. tough with these boots, but the, the feet do move. Uh, knees, joints bend. He can, has some, looks like he has some quad movement. He's got ball jointed legs, uh, ball jointed shoulders, which again, they're going to be restricted because of the jacket. Yeah. And oh, you can hear that. Yeah. Oh. That is stiff. We like that. Oh. Let's take a look. You can play with it. It does say ages eight and up, but let's be honest, this is more of a collector. Jacket has Velcro to secure it. Uh, he has got no no buck, as they call it, I believe, which makes, it lets his chest bend over. It's just mm, one yeah. piece. But he does have wrist rotation and head movement. Don't mean waist. Uh, waist, yeah, that's what I meant, yeah. This is well, the, the wrists also do move, though. We should mention that. Oh, yeah, there you Yeah. He does have wrist and waist. So it's pretty good. It's the first the classic Migo articulation, which yeah. is good. They always had great articulation. The, yeah, and also, I just really like how easy he stands. Yeah. I mean, that is just... You, you guys, if you watch any of the videos, you've seen we've struggled with some of them. And just in general, though, I mean... That's just cool, but now, since I know that you can do this... You want to see what the Fonz's abs look like? <laughs> Whoa. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, do you guys want to see what the Fonz's abs look Fonz like? Fonz is packing. Fonz is ripped! Fonz will give Finn Balor a run for his money. Ooh. I'd like to see that. Yeah. So, an interesting yeah, thing to note, also. Least, uh, now, for Amigo collectors out there, <laughs> I'm sure Amigo collectors already have these, but for those curious, uh, I went on some different groups, I found out for those who customize, apparently the head peg is different from the originals. So if you're trying to swap heads, you might not be able oh, to do that. He doesn't have underwear, just so you know. That's good to know. Fonz goes commando. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I can't resist. I'm, I'm a little child when it comes to this. but. So for $15, that's how much this you guys are. It's pretty great. good, all things considered. You get fabric outfit, which is worth it alone, and good articulation. It's good for collectors, oh, yeah. fan-friendly. Collector friendly. You're just um, checking them no, out all no, over. No, no, no. I'm actually looking at the fabric because since I collected dolls, um, it is something I do pay attention to. Um, okay, so this is sort of a. I'm not sure if it's a good thing, bad thing. Um, but his shirt is actually more like a smock. Ah, there yeah. is one. Uh, it's really hard to show without taking everything off. But basically, the Velcro is all the way up top of over here, and then the rest of it, it's just it just opens. I'm actually pretty okay with that because I've seen like. <laughs> I'll talk about wrestling figures as a good example because they're similar scale. A lot of them have like a fabric shirt, and uh, it used to be really hard to pull it on and off without like tearing it, stretching no, it out. Yeah, I know, but um, again, I'm coming from the doll background, and what a lot of them would do is they would just add an extra um, Velcro thing like right over here, just so that way you can secure the shirt because if you're oh, playing okay, with, I see now, yeah, it's not secured. Yeah, it's completely. not secured, so it just needs, so it needs two. I think it needs two instead of one. That's really all it is. Yeah. Um, just because, you know, you snag it the weird w in a weird way, then the shirt comes loose, you're fighting to get it back. It's just it, it's just a little thing. It's it's nothing serious and whatever, you know, ultimately, but... For the most part, you're not going to even see that on him, though, because he's going to no, have a jacket No, you're not going to see it. It's just, it's a good way to help secure how the shirt lays. Yeah. Because, as you can see, like, it's here... It's from behind, but it's, it, it doesn't looks, look bad from the front. It doesn't, but, um, but well, again... If you're, you have to keep it closed, but you can see it bunches up a little bit on the side. It's a minor thing. I, I'm like, really, it's a minor thing because if I had to trade, you know, a little thing of Velcro versus, oh, look how easily it stands. You know, I know which way I'm going. Yeah. <laughs> but it, it's just, it's just a minor detail that I'm noticing. That's all. So as we mentioned uh, on the box, it shows a few other characters, that, which yeah. we can assume are going to be part of the next waves. Oh, and, and that's how these Miko figures are working. You're not going to get a full wave mm -hmm. of like, you know, four guys to four characters yeah. per series. They're going to be spread out across the different waves. So, so wave two might have whoever's next, wave three whoever's next, so on and so yeah, forth. Yeah, so the, um, they're really focusing on collectability, you know, like, and that's how they're getting, they're, they're bringing you in. Um, perfect example would be things like they're doing the char doing Charmed. That's a more modern um, license, 
and they're doing the three sisters, but they're doing one per wave. And it looks like that's what's going to be like yeah. with Happy Days and with all the other waves. Cheers. Was, Cheers. Was the, one, uh, Brady. The, the Monsters, Brady Bunch. Bunch. Um, yeah. Kiss apparently might be coming up soon, too, I, I hear. Yes, I've heard rumors about Kiss. Um... Charlie's Angels. Yeah. You know, so they're, they're going to have a lot of really cool stuff. So basically what we're saying is if you see these guys out in the wild and all you're Get seeing em. is Fonz, that's why you're only seeing the Fonz. Mm -hmm. And you're going to have to basically keep buying the lines to make sure you get one of them as they yeah. come out. Yeah. So it's it. like buying magazines or, you know, monthly comics. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. So final verdict on the Fonz. Is he the coolest figure we've looked at this morning? Hey, I give him two thumbs up. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Pretty great Fonz, and uh, he's a good first entry into our look at Mego figures, and I, mm -hmm. I'm excited because uh, my generation didn't really have Migos. I came in definitely mm -hmm. tail into Migos, and I was born, I was too young yeah. to even touch them. So uh, yeah. it's nice for people our age to actually get a chance at these uh, you, with their really interesting licenses. You hear so much about them. I mean, if you're a collector, y you, you know them, you know? Yep. You recognize them. They're so iconic, but yeah, it's really cool to finally be able to hold one and, and just kind of play with it. Now I want the Fonz to have some wacky adventures. I'm really glad they didn't give him a shark to, as an accessory. Well, what they need to make is the motorcycle, because uh, when yes. they, this came out originally, there was like a whole Happy Days uh, yes. playset, and there's also the Fonz's motorcycle, so we yes. need a motorcycle. We do need a motorcycle. Yeah, so that's the Fonz by Mego Toys. Hopefully we get the motorcycle, and there are going to be plenty of other toys coming from them from Happy Days and other licenses. Yeah. So there Stay you go. Stay because we're going to be reviewing some of them. And if you want to find the Fonz, go to your local Target, pick them up there for $15. So I'm Matthew. I'm Andrea. That's the Fonz. We'll see you guys next time. Hey. That was terrible, eh? You do have a better one then. Hey. We gotta better. do the lean back. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>